29 days, 12 hours, 43 minutes, 11.6 seconds. The amount of time it takes for the moon to complete a full cycle of its phases. Also known as the lunar month. Science has this worked out to the tenth of a second. Yet most people have no idea what phase the moon is in on any given day. Is it waxing or waning? When's the next full moon? Just look up in the sky. It's been there for 4.5 billion years. Or if you're surrounded by trees or stuck indoors, there's another way. Casio's GMW15 moon graph watch calculates the age of the moon and displays its phase or its lighted area as it travels around Earth. Let's take a closer look at this vintage watch and see what other sets of data it can calculate as we observe this celestial body and gaze at its reflected sunlight. So first off, I'm linking the PDF of the manual for module 832 down in the description. It took me forever to find this manual. I was searching around for hours. I've seen other people complain about not having the manual or finding one in German. And you can now access that below. So this is the GMW15 Moon Graph watch, originally released in 1985. But here's an advertisement from 1989 alongside the CGW50. Cosmo Phase Watch. And in 1985, Casio also released an alarm clock, <laughs> believe it or not. This alarm clock stood about six inches tall and is essentially an exact clone of the watch minus the lugs. And it certainly is a collector's item because only about a thousand of them were made. So this watch is very similar to the CGW50 Cosmo Phase Watch. The case styles are identical. They do resemble each other, except that the Moon Graph watch does not have these decorative screws on the side. They both share the same band and the same domed acrylic crystal. And they both pair very well together yet perform completely different functions. Right off the bat in timekeeping mode you've got the standard day, date, and time in addition to a large half screen viewing of the current moon phase. This negative or inverted area up top is unfortunately not illuminated by light and it can be very hard to see in dim lighting. Nonetheless, you can see sparkling stars with each passing second, which is pretty cool. Also, pressing the bottom left button in timekeeping mode for a few seconds enters you into demo mode, where you can see all of the moon phases, and you can also see the moon hour angle indicator directly below that. Also, before using the watch, press the top left button to set the time and date, then press it again to set your UTC offset, and most importantly, to set the latitude and longitude of your current location. Holding down the top right button in timekeeping mode also displays the approximate sunrise and sunset time along with the current age of the moon. And you'll notice the sun pop up on both sides of the upper display to indicate that. Pressing C or bottom left is where the magic happens. So in moon time mode, you'll see not only the moon phase, but also the moon age, in addition to four moon hour angles. So moon hour angles essentially tell you where the moon can be found in the sky. So here's a quick screenshot from the module manual, but basically what you're seeing here is the angle of zero hours, six hours, 12 hours, and 18 hours. The direction you face to see the moon depends on which hemisphere you're in. I'm in the northern hemisphere, so to me, south is on top. And if you look closely, you'll see a small dot below the moon phase, showing you the time associated with each moon hour angle. So many people think that this is showing you the moon rise and the moon set, but this is not technically accurate. So here at 2.40 a.m., the moon hour is 6, meaning that at that specific time, I can see the moon to the west when I'm facing south. And then at 8.55 a.m., the moon hour is 12, meaning that the moon will appear north at that time, followed by 3.10 p.m. for moon hour 18 or east, and 9.25 p.m. for moon hour angle zero or south. 
And it should be noted that this watch probably does not have a very powerful processor because when you switch days, it takes up to 20 seconds for the watch to calculate the four new moon hour angle settings. But while you're waiting, you're treated to a little animation of the moon phases and also the dot below that indicating the different moon hour angles. And this delay is actually noted in the manual. The next mode is sunrise and sunset mode. It shows you the sunrise time, the sunset time, the moon age, and the moon phase for today's date. We've also got two other standard Casio modes, alarm mode with hourly chime, and a stopwatch mode accurate to 1 one hundredths of a second. Again, this is a pre-illuminator watch, so there's no light, but it is water resistant up to 50 meters. So this watch really is a true classic. While many other Casio watches have moon data, really only this model displays the moon phase and moon hour angle data persistently in timekeeping mode in such graphical format. So there's one final detail that I haven't seen mentioned anywhere else, is that during the hourly chime, a small meteor shoots across the sky. This is a small but incredibly unique and detailed feature that isn't even mentioned in the manual. A true Casio Easter egg indeed. So let's wrap things up by giving you a quick shot of this on my wrist. I'm going to go ahead and take off this AE1300 mod that I did a couple weeks ago, which I'm really enjoying. And here you go. This watch actually wears kind of small. It's 37 millimeters wide by 40 millimeters tall. And uh, it fits really well on my 6.75 inch wrist. Uh, anything smaller than that might look a little odd. But I really enjoy this watch and I hope you did too. So please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of viewers out there that are not currently subscribed. So I would really appreciate it. It definitely helps out the channel. So we'll catch you next time at Watching Casio. We've got some cool new watches coming up. And as usual, thanks for watching. Have a great day.